had a lot of stops. In fact, eight NCAA tournament appearances in all those four different stops as an assistant coach. Tips up in the air. And a loose basketball picked up by Auburn. And we're off and running at the Pavilion in Oxford. Ole Miss 11-4, and 1-1 one and one in SEC play. Auburn 11-4, and four, but 0-2 oh to begin SEC play. Ole Miss 67 and a half points per game, uh, yet yeah, points per game, and Auburn 68 points per game. Wonder how this is all going to turn out here tonight as Savannah Scott loses the entry pass, and Ole Miss, as we show their starting five, they push in their home whites. Along with Marquisha Davis, offensive foul called. Madison Scott also for Ole Miss. And Jake, you mentioned that both these teams usually score in the mid-60s. I wouldn't be surprised if this game was in the 50s with the defense that we're going to see. We started with, honestly, Scott Grayson, but Savannah Scott, a talented freshman. She's 6'4 for Auburn. Also, Jemiah Mingo Young was a two-time interconference transfer. Started her career at Mississippi State, transferred to Auburn from Alabama. A couple of contested bunnies for Auburn. They're unable to put it at the bottom of the net. Still scoreless here in Oxford. Ole Miss needs to do something about those offensive boards, so giving Auburn way too many second-chance baskets. Who was it off of last? It was off of Ole Miss. Ugly basketball. That's what will make the coaches happy. Turnover by Auburn. Kennedy Todd Williams the other way. Fades away. Still looking for our first points tonight. And Tyus Singleton is the one who strikes first. Lately in her last seven games, she's averaging over seven points per game. And Singleton's in on the block. She rejects Taylor. First foul on the night for her. From Oklahoma State, spent her first three years there. Team leader in blocks, offensive rebounds. Especially to Auburn knows Ole Miss is fifth in the country in free throws made per game with over 17. And they also know how dangerous. Scott Grayson pulls up. Davis runs for Ole Miss. Points in transitions key for Ole Miss tonight, said Gillette McPhee McEwen. They like getting those quick baskets. Even like this, if defense is already set up, they're looking to score quick. Shot clock did not reset because the shot didn't hit the rim. Scott Grayson. And that's a shot clock violation. Scott, she has really been impressive. There's 12 points per game higher than her 10 points per game she averages this season. Uh, Louisville games, we probably would have won because free throws caught. 42% free throw shooter this season, and she's 100%. Didn't have a lot to say in this week's press conference, though, about playing her former team. Does you know there has to be a little extra motivation, though, when you're playing your former team. Mingo Young up top, lets it go, puts it through. Coming to Oxford, Mississippi in the offseason. Entry feed to Richardson, and a team that does not allow 50 points in a half of basketball. I mean, right. that, that is that insane. To say right. The least. Yeah, Auburn has six offensive rebounds. Ole Miss has eight offensive rebounds. Scott all the way. Auburn two for 12 shooting from the floor so far. Ole Miss is four of nine. Whistle comes in and a turnover. And Richardson, the former Auburn Tiger, the five up to shoot. Her pass knocked away by Taylor Collins. Mingo Young's rejected underneath. Here comes Ole Miss in transition. Ibakwe fights through, rejected by the basket, gets it back and puts it in. And one. As Rita Ibakwe already two for two from the foul line tonight. This is her first. And here's Collins, the Oklahoma State transfer. Recovered by Akeem Balawa. And an and one. Count that for the tie here. And she was playing Division One basketball a couple days after she arrived at the Can you imagine hopping off a plane and playing Division One basketball five days later in a whole new country? I what that flight time is, too. It's a two-point game. Beautiful move. Couldn't finish. Bostic. The Tigers are three for 17 to begin this game. And Stevenson shovels it home. Again, again. 
Making Bolawa. Defended by her former Auburn. That's great defense by Richardson. That's what I love about a man to man is you cannot hide the flaws. If you get beat, you get beat. It's on you. Bostic keeping an eye on Stevenson. First quarter clock down to five. Stevenson, she's blocked underneath. Balls out of bounds. Auburn basketball. Two seconds left. Heave on the way. And it's off the mark for Bostic. Four-point lead for Ole Miss on Auburn here in Oxford. Yeah, I mean, Auburn definitely has the talent. I think it was like what you were just mentioning. If they can just get some of those simple little mistakes ironed out, you got yourself a tournament-bound team. Reverse layup underneath. That was beautiful. By Scott turned away, and she turns it over. Bostic on the run. Tries again at the rim. Milton through traffic and draws the foul. Sumbane, first year at Auburn. She's at South Plains Community College. One point game. Richardson spins to the basket. Oh, tough finish. McKenna Eddings off the mark on the three. Loose basketball picked up by the Tigers. That's what they do. They turn you over. They're going to be physical. And a foul called on Ole Miss. In the SEC. And Boston. <laughs> so frustrating. Thompson puts it in. <laughs> they just can't get any of the ball. <laughs> Johnny Harris told us that earlier, too. She said the main issue in their first two conference games, we haven't been able to make shots. And finally! I, I think that that is on us, Jake. Every time we highlight somebody, it <laughs> sets them back about a quarter before they get going. It's the Lindsey King curse. <laughs> no, don't blame it on me. <laughs> Madison Scott answers back for Ole Miss. Scott Grayson, good move. Really good defense, though. I love that the refs are letting them play, not calling those easy fouls. Scott Grayson again on the drive. Kicks to Milton. I feel like Mississippi just seems to change their name to Sip now. <laughs> I hardly ever hear it called Mississippi anymore. It's coming to the Sip. Yeah, it's, it's when the, the Northerners like me come to town and we actually say the two of the S's. Hey, what a waste, of, what a waste of syllables. <laughs> and Young, the 6'4 freshman from South Carolina. And Scott Grayson was... Got to assume Ole Miss will try to hold for the last shot here. It would be the smart thing to do. Madison Scott with her eyes on the clock. Needs help. Todd Williams penetrates, and it's in. For Coach Yo, you'd have to be pretty happy with the way that your team played. I mean, from the gate, looking to score. You knew Auburn was going to be great on the defensive end. If you're Auburn, calm down, run an offense, <laughs> knock your baskets down, don't expect a foul. Auburn shot 21% in that first half. This is a team that hits 41% of their shots. It's 12th in the SEC. And Ole Miss at 39%, right around their per game average of 40%. Scott Grayson, tough take to the basket. Scott Grayson's numbers in our last four games. Quiet first half, but like you said, Lindsay, I think we're going to see a lot more of her here in half two. And Madison Scott brings the ball up the floor for Ole Miss. Ten points in that first half, already at her per game average. Yes! Yeah, Harris was just checking in on her. And Jemiah Mingo Young said, no coach, I'm ready to play. I want to play for you. A lob down low to Richardson. And whistles come in. And Marshawn Bostic comes in for Auburn. And Marquisha Davis, Ole Miss's leading scorer this season, finally gets her first two points tonight. Yeah, maybe that will open the floodgates to get something rolling for Davis. We mentioned her in the opener as well, coming off of a red-hot game against LSU. 
Ole Miss's biggest lead of eight points tonight. Auburn has not held the lead at all. And Richardson takes the ball away from Collins. The former Auburn Tiger. Count it. And one. Ole Miss up ten. You see smiles on all of the Ole Miss teammates right now. What a move. Richardson with the steal, with the and one. Oh, yeah. She's feeling it. Now Marshawn Bostic has three fouls for Auburn. Can't connect. 70% free throw shooter this season. Davis. Oh, another and one. So how about Ole Miss? They've opened up this third quarter on an 8-0 run. Make it 9-0 lead tonight. 36-23. 13 points. And Davis pokes away the pass. Coast to coast. Seven points tonight from Arquisha Davis. And all in the second half. Ole Miss on a 11-0 run over the last two minutes. Whatever Coach Yo said in the halftime locker room must have gotten through to uh, the Rebels. I mean, it's like the, the third quarter, Ole Miss is Ole Miss's quarter. Six left to shoot for Mingo Young, and her pass intercepted by Madison Scott. Auburn's turnover margin is plus seven. It's second in the SEC. They forced 22 turnovers per game. Well, right now, I think they're on pace for 22. And that's, you can say that they weren't getting shots to fall. Sometimes that's out of your control, but the turnovers. Same amount of time. They've had five turnovers. Pass up top. There's turnover number six. A little deja vu for Davis. Can't connect there. Todd Williams couldn't finish either. With Ole Miss, they have some breathing room. I guess you'll, you can allow that. <laughs> Ole Miss is just giving Auburn all they want on defense. Shaw, bullseye. Finally some points in three and a half minutes. Much needed basket for Auburn. For Auburn, the leading scorer this season. She has three personal fouls. Richardson. Gets the bounce. That's their outscoring Auburn 13-5 to in this third quarter. And Mingo Young throws the basketball away. Believes she wanted Aiken Balawa, excuse me, cross block. Madison Scott denied down low. And Coach Yo's system, it's I'm struggling to find words for it. It's just impressive. Yes. It's not a Collins. Auburn has only scored five points in this third quarter, and the ball goes in favor. Hey, you've got big, big goals for postseason. Seven of their 15 turnovers today are in one quarter, Lindsay. We still have four minutes to go in the third. Yeah, halfway through the third quarter. Noel off the mark. Todd Williams fought for it. Finds glass. Borders the Indian Ocean. Madagascar, a little boat ride away. Did you Google it? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Lindsay, what do you mean? No. I had an A and G. <laughs> Richardson in and out. Former Tiger with six points against her old team. Bostic. Sumbane can't connect in Scott. Savannah Scott. At 16 in game two of her collegiate career. And then top that, she got her eighth start of the season tonight. She did sink that last free throw. So 17 to 8. Ole Miss is outscoring Auburn this quarter, and they lead it 44 to 29. Just an explosion by Ole Miss's offense. And nails the first. 13 free throws higher. Right. <laughs> she hits both. Coming up on a minute to go in the third quarter. In which Ole Miss has outscored Auburn 19 to 8. Nine left to shoot for the Tigers. Scott Grayson steps back. Yes. Yes, that's exactly why you need her in the game right now to put some points on the board. Scott Grayson is nine points, leads the way for Auburn. What was that? Marquise is dead. Ten seconds left. This possession for Auburn. Bostic. 
It was deflected in the lane. And Bostic to inbound. And to Scott Grayson, she's fouled by Snutter Collins. We talk about the stats, right? And it, I need to know a little bit more. Who who is honesty in areas? And Johnny Harris said, you know, each time throughout the week, I have my players come by and sign my door, and just to stop by, say hello, we check in on things, and it took a little bit for honesty Scott Grayson to do such. Nine seconds, that. right? Six seconds left to go in the third quarter. And Marquisha Davis is fouled with one point. Jemiah Mingo Young back out on the floor for the Tigers. And now Davis has eclipsed 750 points for her entire career. 1.7 left. And the Tigers do nothing with it. Final 10 minutes. Which is tough. I mean, she has 11 points tonight. And the second leading scorer for Auburn is Collins. She has four points tonight. I know. That's a lot riding on your shoulders. She came out and Ole Miss just ran away with it. And Johnny Harris, too, told us that. Honestly, Scott Grayson's been the one. I mean, she knows her role. It's to create offense or create offense for others. And that's, that's tough to do. She needs her teammates to step up as well. Auburn basketball. But he turned over by Ole Miss. Both teams at 16 turnovers apiece. Up and under move. Scott has 10 points tonight. Feeds Ibakwe. She normally gets those. Yeah, that little hook shot of hers is usually money and impossible to guard. All right, the Tigers. Todd Williams. Kennedy Todd Williams is 4 for 28 from outside the arc this season. She had 40 made threes last year for UNC. Yet to find her stroke at Ole Miss. Another take by Sumbane. She draws the foul. And the steals per game over 12 a contest. That's what they do. They just like to wreck havoc. So they take. Sumbane has six points tonight. Make it seven. Sumbane has seven points for the Tigers. But who else is going to step up? Todd Williams with five seconds left on the shot clock. And a travel called. Who's going to step up offensively for Auburn with Scott Grayson on the bench with four fouls? Zimbane! Can it be? Seven left to shoot. Richardson needs help. Finds Davis back door. No. Off the mark and a rebound for Ole Miss. Mingo just a tad off. Johnny Harris was right in front of us here in the sideline. She thought that one. She made the good sign. She thought it looked pretty. Richardson goes to work. Fades away. Rebound for. Hakan Balawa, Mingo Young, on the drive, there's two more, control the pace, Scott loses it, and Richardson recovered, 10 left on the ticker, Scott gets stripped, Mingo Young, oh she called for a foul, Let's look at this again, the previous play is under review for a possible so upgrade. Yeah, Scott. Definitely on Madison Scott. So that's Scott's second. But how about the aggressiveness by Mingo Young? That for a split second, I thought that foul was going to be called on Mingo yeah, Young. Yeah, I did too, especially with the way she reacted right. once the whistle blew. And it also could have been frustration because she would she have had, had a breakaway. Yeah. After review, the play has been upgraded to an intentional foul for a jersey grab. Two free throws plus the ball, opposite table, new, new 30. Intentional foul. Oh, wow, that's huge. Take another look, one more time they're calling an intentional foul on Madison Scott here. Wow. Just that last little grab at the jersey. First trip, first free throws of the night rather for Mingo Young for Auburn. In fact, leads the SEC in assist to turnover ratio as well. That's, that's a win for Johnny Harris, right? Just 
keep was, us in the game until our leading score can come back I in. I was wondering how long she was going to be on the bench. Here's Scott Grayson. And Mingo Young resets the offense for the Tigers. Eight seconds left on the ticker. Collins, strong take, strong finish. Collins is six points tonight for Auburn, and the Tigers on a 6-0 run over the last minute. A zip down low to Davis. Here in the fourth is the first time I have seen either team run offense, a set offense. Mingo Young rejected, and a whistle. What a game. Rattles it in. Coach Yo shouts out instructions for Ole Miss. Davis inbounds to Ibakwe. Davis attacks. Draws the foul. Almost got that one to drop. Two points that you're leaving out there. Splits the pair. 1-10 to go. Crowd's getting into it here in Oxford. Scott Grayson. To the basket. Fouled. Puts it in. And the, and Auburn, the Auburn bench goes crazy. Look at this again. That is a player making a play. Ice water. Man, that's huge, Jake. This free throw to make it a one point game. Fifty four, fifty three. Davis backs down. Todd Williams. Bang. Big basket for Todd Williams. Ole Miss needed that in a bad way. Time out, Auburn. Mingo Young gets the inbounds. 36 seconds left. Scott Grayson to the basket. Up and under move, but draws the foul. Sweaty Palms time here in Oxford. <laughs> One shot for Scott Grayson. Down three. And the crowd chants Chick-fil-A. How could they be thinking about chicken at a moment like this? Scott Grayson misses his free throw. The crowd gets free Chick-fil-A. Such a huge free throw. No Chick-fil-A for you. No Chick Your best bet is to get a quick foul. Ole Miss is 7 for 11 from the foul line tonight. A half a second difference between shot clock and game clock. They get it to Davis. She misses the basket. Auburn basketball. And if you're Ole Miss, this comes down to your mantra. Defense. Clock winds down, 23 seconds left. Scott Grayson underneath. She's fouled. Free throws coming. Has a chance to tie it up right here. Ibakwe's third foul, beg your pardon. <laughs> Scott Grayson's second free throw she's missed tonight. And the crowd's into it here at Oxford. One point game. 19 seconds left. Scott Grayson and Mingo Young come off the floor for Auburn. Bostic and Duhon return. 56-55. Ole Miss by one.
Scott. It's out of bounds. And they're going to review this. And they've come back here. Critical call in the fourth quarter. Right now it's in favor of Ole Miss. That's tough, Lindsey. I just don't see that ball being off of Ole Miss. Critical call. Ole Miss basketball. So here are the Rebels. I mean, you know that Auburn in this fourth quarter has been chaotic. They've been all over you. you Got to be careful here. You have got to be careful. No turnovers for sure. Auburn averages 11 steals per game, third most in the SEC. Down one with 19 seconds left. And Scott was almost intercepted by Sumbane. 18 seconds left. Into Davis. 14 seconds left. Auburn's not fouling. And 12 seconds left, they foul Carissa Richardson. Richardson, 70% free throw shooter, 0 for 1 tonight. This for a three point game. Auburn's out of timeouts. So is Ole Miss. Sumbane to inbound. Crowd on their feet in Oxford. Ten seconds left. Mingo Young, Auburn needs a three. Kick out, Sumbane. Leads it short. Rebound, Davis. Fouls on the floor. Take another look. Good drive. Got the open look, just couldn't connect. Good look. Davis misses the first. This is the second. Ibakwe with the rebound. That's all she wrote from Oxford. Ole Miss fans can breathe. <laughs> Coach Yo and the Rebels hang on. 58-55. And improved to 12-4, 2-1 in SEC play.